If you have experience of printing out from AutoCAD, you'll know that it can be sometimes a little bit of a hit and miss affair in terms of what exactly is printed out and how it looks in terms of line styles, uh, line weights, etc. Thankfully in Revit, um, it's much, much easier. The number one thing to remember is that Revit is fully what you see is what you get. So how it looks on screen in terms of line thicknesses, colours, shadows, etc., line styles, that's how it's going to appear when it's printed out. So I'll just take you through how to print from Revit in this unit. It's really simple. So when you're ready to print, if you go up to the big application menu in the top left hand corner, hit the R button and we've got an option to print. This brings up the print dialog box. Just run through the main elements of this. So at the top is your choice of printer, fairly standard in a print dialog box. So your printers and your plotters will be listed there. And of course you've got access to the properties for that particular selected printer. Down here, bottom left, you've got the print range. Now I'm going to take you through each of those three main settings uh, shortly. Over to the right, there's some options here, the number of copies you want, so you can sort of batch print uh, in one go. And down there, there's some more further settings, so I'll just click on that now. So for the particular chosen printer, you can choose the paper size. If you've got a, a choice of trays, so with the source where that paper is going to come from. Now, paper placement from the centre, or you can offset it from a corner. In terms of zoom factor, just watch this one. It's normally safer to actually choose zoom of 100% rather than fit to page. So just check with any printed material once it comes out of the printer or plotter when you run a scale on it that is the actual size that you expect it to be. Orientation, portrait or landscape. Um, we've got some option there for hidden line views, how it's actually going to remove those lines. It's going to process the vectors or raster processing if it's sort of bitmap images. Uh, the appearance of raster images, so if you've imported some sort of uh, photographs, some JPEGs, what quality do you want those to come out at? And down here we've got some options which I'll explain towards the end of this unit. So I'll just reverse back out of that, back up to the top level of the print dialog box. Down towards the bottom there's a couple of buttons there, some printing tips supplied by Autodesk and also a print preview button. Probably the most important part of the print dialog box is this section here, print range. Now you've got three options and I'll cover each of them in turn. Current window, if I just pop the dialog box over to one side. So as we've seen before we can have a number of windows in Revit all looking at our model or details or schedules etc so whichever window is current it's currently active if you have current window toggled on there and press ok that is what will print now note in this window here we haven't expanded it we can only see part of the design but with that first option current window everything in that current window will be printed or plotted However, we've got another option there, visible portion of current window. So now whatever can be seen, that is the extent or the limit of what will be printed. So really useful that option if, for example, you, you're going to have a, an impromptu design team meeting, you want to just sit around a table and discuss a particular aspect. Maybe it's a, a detail of design, a room, or you could home in on a, a say, a wall junction, etc and print the visible uh, portion of the window and just home in on that particular aspect that you need to sort of put in the middle of the table and, and scribble on. And the third option which you'll probably use the vast majority of the time is selected views and sheets. So if I toggle that one on, as soon as you hit the bottom toggle there, this button becomes available to select and you now have a view and sheet set dialog box quite simply this is a list of all the views and all the sheets contained in your project browser and you simply put a tick or a check against the ones that you want to print now you can filter that just to show the sheets or the views so quite often when you're using this option 
you'll want to just see the sheets so you're ready to actually output it on your title blocks so I'll turn views off we're left with just a list of the sheets which match the ones down here in the project browser so we could say we want to print sheet 103, 104, 105 hit OK and as long as we've chosen the right print or plotter hit OK again and out they would come so it's a sort of batch printing or plotting um, process built into it um, what's really handy is this save as feature here so you can imagine in a live project you've got let's say 30 40 50 sheets listed down here um, now let's say that sheets 100 to 120 are the planning drawings we could tick just the planning drawings and then we could go save as and we could call it planning drawing set and then next week when the design has developed a bit further we can actually go and pick that planning drawing set from the list and these would already be filled in likewise if certain drawing combinations have gone to the builder or the client again you save that with a name and then you know exactly what set has been sent to who and if they need updated drawings just call it back from the list and you know they're going to get exactly the same set of sheets that they had last time now just before we finish this unit on printing I just want to talk about crop regions or the boundary of crop regions and also reference planes in relation to printing so you can see in this particular view which is the floor plan if I go back to the, the view itself we've cropped the view with a model crop we've also got a reference plane in there now let's go back to the sheet view now you can choose in the print setup whether these crop boundaries actually print or not by default they're set not to print um, you can also choose whether reference planes or work planes are printed so I'm just going to show you where to find those settings now so if we go back up to the application menu go to print and it's down here on the right hand side at the bottom in settings hit setup and down here we've got some options so hide crop boundaries that's ticked on and hide reference stroke work planes that's ticked on as well just going to come back out of there close that for now so you won't see either the crop boundary or the reference planes when this particular sheet is printed so just bear that in mind if you are composing a sheet of details for example and you want each detail to be in a box don't think that the um, the crop boundary of the detail box itself will form the border uh, unless of course you've turned that setting off in the print dialog box you may just have to use detail lines to actually uh, draw a board around your detail and that completes this unit to get the most out of this training material please take the complete course online at bimscape.com here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.